Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to add admins or become an admin on a T-Shock Terraria server. Being an admin on a Terraria server means you'll be able to use teleportation commands, perform server moderation, and many other awesome commands while you're in-game. To add an admin or become an admin, you'll firstly have to head over to the server.pro website, then head into your server's control panel. On the server dashboard, make sure that T-Shock is the server type. If T-Shock isn't the server type, this tutorial won't work for you, so make sure you've got that already set up. Now what we need to do first is find the setup code. There are two ways to do this, firstly by heading over to the console. There you'll be able to find the setup code at the bottom. Another way to do this is by heading to the files tab, opening the T-Shock folder and then the setupcode.txt file. You'll also see the setup code there, you should right click to copy that code as we're going to be using it later. Now that we have the setup code, we can head into our Terraria server. To do this, just head into your dashboard and copy the host name. Then open up the Terraria game. When the game's open, head into multiplayer and join via IP. There you just have to select your character and then paste the IP from before. Do the same with the port and you're in. Now you're gonna have to press enter to open the chat. Type in slash setup and paste in the setup code copied earlier. You'll know the command is successful when it pops up with these messages. As you can see, the top message says temporary system access has been given so you can run one command. To proceed, we're going to be firstly making ourselves an owner and then we're going to be able to add admins. It's crucial to note these are two different roles. You then want to type slash user add your username, your chosen password which will create an account and lastly the group name which is an owner. Make sure you remember your password so no errors occur later. When you press enter, it should say account has been added to group owner. When that's done, you just have to log in with the details you just created. All you have to do is type in slash login, username, password, and then it should say authenticated as blank successfully. This means you're now an owner. Now that you're an owner, you can add people as admin. To add users as admin, you just have to type slash user add and then the username of the player you want as admin, their desired password, and then type in admin and hit enter. This will create an account for that player, so make sure they know their password and details as well. It may say that you don't have access to the command, but don't worry, if this happens, you just have to type in the command again, but making sure that at the start it says slash sudo and then type it in again. If successful, it'll say the account has been added to the admin group. Being an admin now means a player can use a variety of commands such as slash god mode, slash broadcast, teleportation, home, and much more. If you're able to use these commands, then congrats. If you're having issues though and don't have access to these commands, make sure to go back and refollow the steps. If at some point you get the setup.log error, this means you haven't made yourself owner and you're locked out of your server. Don't worry though, you can easily solve this issue by deleting the tshock database file and the setup code log file. You simply have to follow the steps at the bottom of this page. We'll be leaving the link to this page in the description. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.